Hello and welcome to Heat Signature in my new series Plays, where I'm going to pick up a game, play it once, maybe twice if we're lucky, uh, and put it down basically. It's going to establish a backstory to a game uh, so that I can do other videos on the game with other categories on my channel. But for now, welcome to Heat Signature. Heat Signature is Hotline Miami in space in a conquest war in this top-down thing. In a, in a giant galaxy, um, with, with weapons and, and tech and madness. Yes. So first things first, I'm actually going to enter character selection here, and I'm going to show some characters. So, the best thing about this is every character is different. They all start with different amounts of money. So this is money down here, just above my head, which is kind of like oil. Um... They have different amounts of ammo and different amounts of weapons. So you can see above my head, this person's got a concussion hammer and a rechargeable long-range crash beam. There's a lot of crazy stuff in this game. Um, then you've also got the traits on that side of the screen. So you've got their personal mission. So you've got to bring the glitches, the glitches officer who murdered my kid. Bring in the glitches officer who murdered their kid. That's sort of their personal mission. Every character in this game... It gets a randomized personal mission. You know, my mom's been kidnapped or my my lover died from this person, so I'm going to kill him. Whole bunch of stuff, but you need intel to play that mission. Understandable. This one says uh, intel cost paid, so we'd be able to do this person's side mission immediately. Pretty cool. Then we've got some traits. This character I've got, called Aniko Petri, or Petri uh, is blacklisted. They're banned from all shops, and we know full well why. That's always a good thing, so we can't buy anything. We're informed, so we have the intel for our personal mission already. And we are lucky, though, so we are two times as likely to find good items in crates. Pretty cool. This person has a glory level of one. They've got no kills, no knockouts, no injuries, no alarms, no living witnesses, a whole bunch going on. And that's their lifetime stats. So I'm going to play as this character. But if I hover over this one, this one comes with a long blade, a quick fire gun, a emergency shield. This character comes with a quiet concussive shotgun and an acid trap. And this person comes with a quick quiet fire shotgun and a wrench. Everyone sort of has their own weapons and things. And I'll just go through sort of explaining that there are lethal and non-lethal weapons. There are teleporters. There are electronic things that deactivate uh, electronics. There are electronic things that reprogram things. There are teleports. There are... There's a lot of things. It's a future tech game. And it's chaos. And it's a lot of fun. So I'm going to play as this character. So we can go immediately in with the personal, mi the, the personal mission to bring in a glitcher officer who murdered my kid. Now a glitcher is one of the... Um, Factions see how these like a little webs one of these webs is the glitches the one I'm hovered above It says glitches at the bottom of the screen and up there There's more likely to be stuff to do with glitches and so on and so forth and our home is this little base here now on, Let me have a sip Sorry, I'm just sipping my iced coffee because um There's a lot in this game. It's got good music There's breaker Gemini there who will tell you about stuff and that's the daily story and this person gives you Intel these are the shops, which I can't actually visit. There's a stash, so if, I, if I'm if i on a spaceship, I can send stuff back to here at any time. It's like an infinite suitcase. Very useful. Here I could buy pods, explosives, guns, gadgets, and everything else, but I'm blacklisted, so I can't do that. Over here, I can get missions, which is quite cool. Now, missions give you different amounts of pay, and they also have difficulties. So, for example, this one is a hard mission. The guards come with concussive guns, so they'll knock you out, but I won't bleed, which is good. And emergency shields, so if they spot me, they gain a shield that reflects all damage. It turns off when they can't see you. There's also bosses, which means there's four of them on that ship, which would have concussive guns, heat sensors, which means they can detect me within a certain range, and emergency shields that also proc within an area. There is a lot going on. What I want to look at is my personal mission. Now, my personal mission is sort of my whole reason to go out into this universe. This universe, by the way, which is a cool, sexy colour of red. There's a lot going on here. So, I have to do things. First things first, if I set off an alarm on my personal mission, the target flees. There are contractors who generate un impenetrable, unhackable shields for everyone. 
which is a nightmare. There are sentry guns, ridiculous amounts of guards, guards have ridiculous kits, and I need a non-lethal weapon to knock out my target, because I'm not going to kill the person who killed my kid, I'm bringing them in for justice. Quite a lot to do. You'll also see there's 24 guards that can carry keys, which is why there's a little key next to it. And not only that, they have guns, which can kill people. They have armor, which means they're immune to weapons, unless they have the ignore, ignore armor trait, or I use explosives, or eccentry guns, or something to take off their armor. And they have heat sensors. And then the bosses all come with massive shields that are on all the time, and firearms with shotguns. I'm not prepared for this mission. So the way I'm going to prepare for this mission is I'm going to do other missions. I'm going to gain money and I'm going to rob ships to get stuff. So we're going to go on this nice easy mission here. Assassinate Joss Spadacci. I'm going onto a small off-world security ship. There's a no, no alarm response. So if the alarm goes off, nothing happens. And there are three guards. There's one normal and two bosses. Bosses have concussive guns that would knock me out. And this guy has a wrench. Sounds like a pretty easy mission, so I'm going to accept that mission. Now that I've accepted that mission, I'm going to go into my docking bay and into my ship. This is my ship. My ship is very pretty. The way this works is you click and you shoot off in your ship. And you shoot off and you zoom out with your mouse wheel and you can shoot off into space. If I hold F at any time, I can fast forward the entire game, which is great. Now the person I've got to assassinate is over here. So as I go closer, if I right click, we activate inertia. So you see there's a line leading to that thing. That locks my inertia to that. So we are now traveling parallel to this ship. At the same speed. So I'll do lots of that to get nice and close to this ship. There we go. Now this is the ship I'm going to raid. It's quite a big ship and there's a docking port as you can see just here. So I'm going to lock onto that docking port and I'm in. This is the game. This is my character. So I have on my right click my rechargeable crash beam. Hold on, wrong button. Uh, space. There we go. So, it's rechargeable. So it recharges to full capacity for free when I return to a friendly station. There is only one friendly station right now, so when I go home, it gets more charges. Which is pretty good, because a lot of the stuff in this game is disposable. Meaning, once I've used it, it's gone. Uh, it will turn off Turrets, shields, anything electronic. Then I have the concussion hammer. This is a long range weapon, because I can dash 8 meters to strike a target. It has a quick recovery, so I can swing again afterwards, and it knocks people out. It is a non-lethal weapon. So, entering the ship, I enter the rooms. There's a That's the person I need to assassinate. There's a guard, and there's another guard. This is an explosive, so if I had a gun, I could literally blow up part of the ship if I wanted to. And I have to sort of play stealthy so I don't get spotted by the person I need to assassinate. Now, I'm going to step out behind, activate a lunge, and club that guy in the head. This guy is now unconscious. He's dropped a gun, and no one can see his body. That guy's now unconscious. You get the gist. You can also throw your weapon. It's a lot quicker to throw your weapon than wait for it to swing again, which is pretty good. I'm now going to pick up my concussion hammer. And because I've knocked out everyone on the ship, I can actually now fly the ship and set a course to the friendly station. Meaning this ship is now actually going to go back home. So instead of assassinating, I can just pop him in this little drop point and still maintain a non-lethal status, which is quite cool. So... Objective seems to be alive, but we can fix that. I haven't killed anyone. I'm bloodless. No one saw me, so I'm an enigma. No alarms, so I'm silent. No injuries, so I'm unscathed. Mission time was 1 minute 40. I gain a little bit of liberation progress. I also, I believe, gained a quiet concussive gun. So this is a shorter gun, short range gun. Shots can't be heard through walls and closed doors. Audible range is shown by the radius in the pause menu. So you see this little line that's coming out just near the shops here? That's sort of the radius of how loud people could hear it if I fired the gun. It recharges, which is pretty good. When I return, it gets full charges and it knocks people out. I'm probably going to keep that gun. Also, 
Anything else on the ship would have entered into my stash, but I don't have anything. We're going to take another job. Let's take a slightly more difficult job. This guard's got four guards with heat detectors, so they'll be able to detect me if I step into that radius. Two bosses with concussive guns. Fair enough. I also need to just capture the entire ship. No, capture carbon warding. Carbon warding? I don't know. But there's also, now if I get spotted by a guard, I have 40 seconds to either take out the pilot or escape. Otherwise the ship's gonna won, basically. I'm fucked. So let's go nice and quickly. There's time limits and things, and as you move on in the game, there's a lot more granted to this game. Uh, special clause types can be added to the missions. For example, um, there will be missions that give you more or less money depending on whether you kill people. There'll be bloodless missions, enigma missions, do a mission without getting spotted on a massive ship. A whole thing. Now these areas here, these sort of like windows, if I go into them, it will raise the alarm for the ship, so I have to be careful. And now these guys won't be able to see me through here. But if I go through this sort of red circle, they'll be aware of me. But if I use my crash beam, I've just deactivated their ability to detect me. And knock them both out. Now, unfortunately, everyone else has spotted me. And now I got shot in the head. Now, I got knocked unconscious. So what they're going to do is eject me from the airlock. And now I have a set amount of oxygen. I've been ejected from the airlock. I failed at the combat. That's my fault. But I can remote control my pod. And I've got to go and pick myself up before I run out of oxygen. If I'm shot with a normal gun... I will bleed out in space. Now there's 24 seconds for me to retake this ship. So if I'm quick enough about it, I can go down here. Throw my hammer. Knock out the guy driving so we're safe. Now I've got knocked unconscious, but this ship is now floating in space. They don't wake up the people that are unconscious. I'll fast forward so I get put out the airlock quicker. But now I've got all the time in the world to take the ship out because I have taken out the person in charge. The other disadvantage I'm going to go through is that my hammer is also now sat on that ship. I don't have my melee weapon anymore. So when I dock, what I'm going to have to do is equip my quiet concussive gun that I picked up. And you see this radius, it's big. Everyone's going to know that I'm here when I use this gun. So, I need to be careful about it. There's a key here, which would open a door if there was a locked door, but I don't actually think there's a locked door anywhere. There's some money over here in a parkage, a parkage, a package, and this is a window. If I shoot this, everything gets ejected into space in that room. Shoot that person. There we go. Knock them out. Ship's secure. Great. I'm going to take my concussion hammer, because I like a melee weapon. And you'll see here, this is the person I need to steal. Carbon warding. Uh, but I'm actually just going to take the whole ship, because I've got the whole ship. So we'll take the whole ship, and we'll speed up time. Woo, fly back home. Nice. And because I needed to capture this person, I have done it. I throw them in the drop point. This is a roguelike, basically. It's a roguelike dungeon crawler, but each dungeon's a ship, and you have a lot of ways to take it down. And lots of different characters. Over here, if I go to character select now... I got new characters. Someone with a quick fire gun and an acid trap. Someone with Ezekiel Banks' rifle. So one of my older people, yeah? Uh, one of the characters I played previously. If they are awesome and they gain good legacy, they become an, sort of like a mentor. And for example, that rifle is named after one of my characters. So it's really good and interesting. And if I can't... So, for example, if I got captured, there could become... An opportunity for people to, uh, no, no, don't do the practice thing, uh, to sort of capture my, um, person and put them in a base. And then I can save them again and have them as a playable character. But if I fail, other people on the internet can also get a chance to do that. There's quite a lot going on here. Now, this hard mission here hijacked the Excelsius. There's some guards here with shotguns and keycards, that's fine, and some emergency shield people. That's not too bad, I can deal with that. The alarm's 40 seconds, but there is also the glitch back guarantee. This is the glitch back guarantee, and I'm going to explain what it does. The glitch back guarantee. This client will instantly teleport you out if you're about to be injured in any way. So there is no risk attempting this mission. 
this ship will escape so that the mission will be cancelled. So basically, if I fuck up, I don't lose anything but the mission. So we're going to go for that. Now I need to hijack this ship. It's going to be tight. But I, I love this game because of the roguelike elements, the quick fire combat, and the absolute panic you go through most of the time playing this game. Right, this is a foundry ship. Foundry ships are, well, they look a bit industrial. Um, there's lots of windows and stuff, and the cockpit, as you can see, is way up down the front. This is a big ship. We've got multiple key cards and doors that are locked. So if you see here, there's actually a door that's locked, but this key's going to let me in. So what I'm going to do, go in the corner, beat that guy up, take that. Now I'm going to be careful because this person's got an emergency shield. I'm going to deactivate it before it starts and knock them out too. Now to Ritz, sometimes there's a chance they'll find bodies. If they do, the alarm goes off. So you can move your bodies around. It's a whole thing. This is a turret. There are two ways to deal with it. I could use my crash beam on it and deactivate it. If I had a hack beam, I could hack it. Or I can just walk up behind the bloody thing and turn it off. Works out pretty well in the long run. This is a crate. Now because my character is lucky, I should get a good item in this crate. I got a rechargeable extreme range key cloner. That sounds ridiculous. Um, rechargeable, pretty good. Extreme range means if I zoom out a bit, that person's got a level 2 key. Now I've got a level 2 key. It's run out of charges, so I can't use it again, but it's helped me get through a door, which is pretty solid. So now if I want to, I can sneak past people without anything going on. I've got two people unconscious, no witnesses right now, which is good. If I can make the whole way through this with no witnesses, I will be happy. There's a person here on a button there. That's a control panel. There we go. Not that one unconscious. Oh, shit. Hold on. Turn off this guy's emergency shield. You get slow-mo when you're starting to cast, like, onto someone. You're, like, melee. And I have to wait until I have a clear line of sight to fire within the range. But it's, it's a really satisfying game. Like, the noise when you knock someone out. Ugh. That's just orgasmic. Okay, there's a person there. And they are quite out of range. Okay, I'm going to use the gun. There we go. Knock them out. And it was at such a range that no one else in the ship heard about it, which is really good. There's a person here with the level 3 keycard. I'm going to charge my hammer up and wait until they can see me. Now. There we go. Knock them unconscious. Bosh, got the keycard. Open here. Now, I got a level 4 keycard, which will get me into this crate, which is definitely something I want before I neutralize all the enemies. Person on the cockpit can't see you. They're pretty shit at spotting you, which is pretty good. Um, Bosh, I took out both their shields in one go. That's really helpful. Club that one unconscious. This is quite a good thing, the concussion hammer. It's got a really good um, knockback on it. It just knocked that person four miles back into a wall. Very satisfying. Gonna knock this person unconscious, and that one, and now I've taken the ship. Now before I go to a friendly station, what I am definitely going to do is look in this crate. A rechargeable extreme range clee cloner. I now have two of those, a clee 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 cloner. Fla fla fla. I can't speak. Now you'll also see, I've got this, well you can barely see because my webcam's just slightly in the way, but it says teleport items on the ship to you. People here had shotguns. Lethal shotguns. I can stash them, or just teleport them to me. And then I've got 30 seconds, oh, sorry, a little bit of hiccups, uh, to, till I can teleport something else, like 0.3 seconds. So if I am in really a thing and I've lobbed everything I've got, I can pause very quickly, grab something, and throw it at someone if I need to. But, nine unconscious people, no one dealt with, like no one saw me, the entire ship is captured, and now we're flying it back home, bish bash bosh. Done. Bloodless, Enigma, Silent, Unscathed, 45 pay, and a shit ton of liberation progress. Nice. Now, huh, what's this hard mission? It doesn't have a glitch back guarantee. The ship has no captain, so its alarm can't be disabled, and it cannot be hijacked. Okay, so no hijacking this one. 
I need to capture a person. There are guards with a concussive gun and a glitch dash. Teleports you instantly to suspicious sounds or sights. Basically, they get the ability to go <clears throat> straight to you. Fucking nightmare of playing, but a hell of a lot of fun. Everyone's got non-lethal guns here. So as long as I'm not on the ship, we're good. And it's a skeleton crew, so it's going to be light. We're going to do this. The more dangerous a mission, the more liberation progress we get. And I want to liberate a sector before I try my personal mission. Which I think is a fair thing to do. Uh, I'm also going to go into my... And sell this shotgun, because I'm not going to use a lethal weapon. We are going to be fully non-lethal, because I am beautiful. Yeah. Here we go. So, we'll zip off towards the ship. This is a big ship, holy shit. You're going to see how big these things can get. They can get real big. Uh, what I did there is I collided into the side of it. Sometimes you can do that. It's not the best. Massive ship. The person I need to capture is all the way in security zone 5. People with keys everywhere. Pretty big nightmare. That's got a glit that person's got a glitch dash teleport, so I need to be careful. Club that one unconscious. Okay. The only person in this area now is a glitch dash person. Got him. Okay, so we're clear here. Before I do anything, I'm going to put this guard over there. I don't want to risk anyone coming through this door and spotting. That person's well out of my range. Hmm. <sighs> yeah. I don't know if I can get there in time. Fuck it, risk it. Throw the hammer! Throwing the hammer worked. If I can't reach them with the hammer, lobbing it's always a good option. Let's kill this one. There we go. Head into here and grab what we can from this room. What do we get? A rechargeable emergency shield. That's pretty solid. I'll probably sell that, but you know, it's it's decent. Well, I can't sell it actually. I don't have money. Um, there's a level three key card here. Another one over here. I'm going this way because I think it's going to be easier because they've already split up these two. And there's only a turret. There we go. That one's dead. Well, not dead. Unconscious. Sorry. Don't want to step out into the hallway because I will die. Can't attack now. Oh, I can attack now. Good. Great, you're unconscious. Deactivate that so I don't get shot. <sighs> Deep breath in the gym. Right. We've got the key card for the next area. I want to get rid of all guards on the ship if I can. This area over here I don't have to go with, though. Which is a pretty solid thing. So maybe... Yeah, let's just clear it so I don't have to risk it. Because this is where the pilot would be, but there's autopilot on, so there's nothing I can do. That one's unconscious. Great, got level 4 keycard. Person down here, far end, not looking good to fight them. Let me go in here and see what items we've got. An acid trap! That's what I was looking for. It's not rechargeable, but it's something. We may be able to save... Well, not save our dead kid. Avenge? Rectify? Do something with a dead kid. You know what I mean. That was definitely not what I meant to say, but yeah. Oh. Did I do it before they noticed me? Do I still have my stealth? Yes! Everyone's unconscious. No one saw me. I am a ghost. Well, not a ghost. I'm smart. That's the person I need to capture, so I'm just going to run off with them very quickly. I know there's only one person left on the ship, but you don't want to risk it. Done! Ship taken! I can't capture the ship, but I do have this person, which is a great addition. Hooray! Let's have a look on my teleporter. Nothing much I can get. I can get a quiet shotgun. Um, I'm not a massive fan of the shotguns, personally. They're louder, bigger, more brutally... Brut... 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 Brutsome? Yes, brood some. Uh, so, for example, if that person was going to discover me and I needed to very quickly get out with this target, I could literally lob them through this window. we both get ejected into space and I'd have until they ran out of oxygen. But because I did it perfectly with that ship, I think we're solid. Let's go home. Now, there are just ships anywhere. I could just randomly go to a ship if I wanted to, which is one of the benefits of this game. But I like to hand them in. Because doing literal ones gets you liberation progress. Now, I only need a little bit of liberation progress. 
This is a hijack. Glitch back guarantee. 12 guards. Go on, I'll try it. We'll try it. It's got a glitch back guarantee, so there's nothing I'm going to lose, really, from trying that one. I might lose my perfect score so far of being an absolute ghost god, but hey, we'll do what we can. Oh, it's a big ship. And it's a... Oh, okay. I think this is a sovereign ship, if I remember correctly. Not like Mass Effect sovereign, but uh, something along those lines, definitely. Not that one unconscious. Cool. Deactivate that. Deactivate that. They've lost their heat sinks. Anyone else in that room? No, just these two fuckos. Fuckos? I know what I mean. Okay, they're all unconscious. I'm going to nick this person. Now, what I can do, this is something you can actually do in this game, is rather than trying to do the mission with all the stuff you've got on you, you could actually... Technically not do it. You could... I don't know how to put this in terms that make sense. Let's cancel the aim on that, sorry. I could go back to my thing and recharge my electronics and carry on taking down the ship if no one knows I've done it. Fuck, they know I'm here. Ish. Looks like the alarm didn't get taken off, which is good. I did lose my perfect stealth. But hey, it is what it is. Yeah, person in here can't see anything, which is great. Enemies are neutralized. I need to get possibly two people with one hack beam. Hack you because you're going to spot me. Crap, he saw the body on the floor here. Okay. There's money here. I'll grab that. Money is good if you can visit shops, not if you uh, can't. Do you want me to just say more useless things? Because that seems to be what I'm doing right now. Apologies. That is like the dumbest thing I've ever said. Money's important! <laughs> Alright. Um, there's three enemies left on this fucking ship. I might be safe. That one's moving out. Now, if I can... Hmm. I need to crash. I need to crash something. Shit. What if I... Okay, I'm gonna get myself spotted for like half a second. Because this person's got line of sight through this door. There we go. Got you. Got you. Crap. This person spotted me. And their shield's active and I can't do anything with their shield. Okay, shield's off because they've lost me. Great, did it. That was a nightmare. This person has a swapper. This has only got one use. I'm going to take it because it is a very useful item. Uh, if two swappers are even better, but I'll explain to you why swappers are absolutely amazing. For now... Uh, let's go back home with the ship, because that's what I needed. Uh, a swapper basically means I can swap places with any conscious or unconscious body. But right now, I have liberation available. So if I go to this strategy map, I can liberate an area. So, here are my options, these blue ones. They all belong to different things. So this is off-world, this is foundry, this is sovereign, and this is glitcher territory. And all the way there is the Glitcher Stronghold, which is, ooh, the sort of leading place. I'm going to head for Offworld first in my uh, strategy map. And you'll see, when I hover over these, you can get things. So this means I'm always going to be able to have long-range key cloners, which is an amazing thing to have. I could also have extreme-range key, cl key cloners, which are better, generally. Entirely better and not worse. Or concussive guns. Or I could just get a city. I'm not too bothered about cities. I'm probably going to go for the guns. And so we send out a ship and bang! That is now converted to us. We have two bases and new gear in our shops. If I could shop. We also unlock new missions. Bloodless. You can't kill anyone. You can see what I'm getting on. 
there's quite a lot going on. As you take over the map, you unlock more things. From the foundry ships, to the off-world ships, to the sovereign ships, to the glitcher ships. I'm telling you now, the glitcher ship's amazing. It's got a special ability that just means you teleport to the nearest airlock. It means no docking problems. Whew! Silence guns in the sovereign territory. Bloody... This is all about tech. So crash traps. That's a trap on the floor that deactivates electronics. High capacity grenade launchers. Remote grenade launchers. I think in sovereign territory. Yep. Stealth shields. They're shields that give you stealth. And every time the galaxy is completely regenerated. So you never know what's going to be closest. What sort of outposts you've got. And there's also defector missions. Which are like special challenge mode missions. On set ones of these like things. Which is amazing. So lots to do. Very cool. Very, very cool game. Uh, in my stash, you can see I'm gra gradually keeping things. I'm going to keep most of this stuff right now because I don't have anything to swap it with. Uh, let's get a job. I should have a bloodless job now. Yes, I do. Assassinate this person. Kill no one else. Sounds pretty good. We have no idea what the guards will have though. The bosses would have anything. Truly a nightmare mission. And a lot of fun. So we will do this, and then we'll move on to the personal missions. If you'd like to set me challenges in this game, by the way, please do. I'm looking forward to this uh, for other things. I'm also going to show you very quickly legends and retirements. So living legends would be people that were alive, and people I've retired. I could retire this person and select an item to return them if you've had a good run. You go down in history. Basically, you can choose an item and pass on your Steam friends and your own future characters to find it again. It's a whole thing. It's very cool. Uh, for now, though, let's do one bloodless mission where I can't kill anyone because I am the non-lethal queen of space right now. Uh, and then I'll have to save my kid. There we go. So to assassinate this person, I could do this in an interesting way. I've got a plan. Let's enter the ship. Whew, we got this. A lot of people in this room. This person has loot on them, but also armor. Because they've got armor, I have literally no way to kill them right now. None of my stuff is armor piercing. I can't knock them out. So, my solution is to use the swapper. Boop. They're where I am. I'm where they are. Then use a key cloner to hack there. He's very confused because they weren't here before. I can do that in a lot of ways, this um, swapper. I can use it in a way that means that if I jumped out of an airlock, they go out. Now this is Garb Messier. They're immune to conventional attacks and they've got a shotgun and they are panicking because they just appeared somewhere. Not that one unconscious. Not this one unconscious. Because they're panicking, they basically won't ever move. The next problem is this room. A lot of people. Crap, he's moving. Knock them unconscious. Deactivate that shield. Okay. Bit of a fight area, this. Lock onto you. Throw at you. Grab that. Pick it back up. Nice. I got... What, what item did I get? A high-capacity stealth shield. Now, a stealth shield is amazing. Because if I get rid of... Well, let's not get rid of the swapper. Let's use it up. Um, a stealth shield... Let me try and demonstrate it. Let me... Uh... I need to swap with the pilot, really. The guy I need to assassinate has armor. This is a problem. Okay. A big problem. Let's let's crash your electronics. Right, you're unconscious. Good. Let's grab your key so I don't have to go near you. Fuck. Armored twat. Let's show you what a... Uh, uh, that's an acid trap. Oh, I have an acid trap. Yeah, of course. Acid trap means that if they step in it, which he didn't, great. Um, he loses... Um, shit. Stash that. Hold on. Put that there. Activate the stealth shield. See the sort of like arrow? They can't see through it while it's active. Let me take this acid trap. Acid trap is a great thing. It means I can hack through the person I need to assassinate armor. Truly a nightmare. Not that person unconscious. 
this person. Stealth shield. See, they can't see me, which is great. Because I'm going to shoot out a window and we're both going to get ejected into space. He's dead now. 100% dead, I think. Unless I pick him up, which I just did. I picked myself up too. I've still not killed anyone because the person I ejected into space is now inside my ship, unconscious. I used the atmosphere to knock him out. There are so many unique, interesting ways to take down people. It's amazing. Now, I'm probably going to do this. Stealth shield, put an acid trap down, and hope he wanders into it. <sighs> okay, that's not working. Um, lob that there to make a noise. Go towards the noise. Fuck! There we go. His acid's taken down, although unfortunately, the alarm's gone off. Which means I need to shoot this fucker. There we go. Grab the concussion hammer. Alarm until targets escapes. No, 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 no! Fuck. Target escaped. They teleported out. The mission's failed. I could take the rest of the ship, but there's literally no point now. I will take this acid trap with me because it is beneficial. You get the gist of how much chaos goes on in these sort of missions. We failed. That's fine. Let's go save my kid. No, not save my kid. Let's go... What am I doing? Murdering the... Capturing the person that killed my kid. Something like that. We'll figure it out. <sighs> I got an item in my stash. Yeah, I've got uh, this emergency shield, which I'm going to sell for money. Uh, I'm also going to sell the swapper because it's not useful. And I'll sell the stealth shield. I'm not going to use that. I can't buy anything else. Let's try bring in the glitches officer who murdered my kid. There's a lot of normal guards with armor. I'm hoping with my key cloners, I won't need to go against them. I should be able to go past them and just try and stealth it past. That's my plan. My entire plan. That or I'm going to blow up a lot of the ship. Also, I'd mentioned that the rooms with explosives that I pointed out, let me show you here. If I show you on this ship. So this ship is currently traveling forwards. If I go to here, a uh, very big ship. This is a glitcher ship. Where's a room that I can demonstrate? There isn't one. Okay. Bit of a nightmare, this. Okay. Right, got a key. That's a good start. Uh, for starters though, this person here is giving everyone here a shield. I need to kill this person to do anything. Which means I have to get my crash beam out, crash them, kill them, so then I can stop these people having shields. This person as well, doesn't have any armor, so that's okay. But they're still in the middle of a group of people. <sighs> Let me crash that turret as well. Right, okay, this is good. Hold up. That's the one I need. Fuck. Okay, they've just moved on. But no one seems to be looking this way. Shit. Okay, they've sort of seen me, but not really seen me, which is good. I may be able to move on from here. Okay, I've snuck past. We're clear. Into this next area. If I blow up these, by the way, every single one of these, the ship is stationary. Because these are the thrusters so to speak. Fuck. Okay. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Go through the door quickly. Shit. They shot at the uh, explosive and blew it up. Can I get back? My target's exploding. Ah, oh, I've got another dock here I've unlocked from having a key. Four seconds until my target escapes. Target's escaped. Fuck. Here, have a corpse. That guy I saved from the other missions, by the way, is just chilling on my ship still. Okay, now if I go home, maybe I'll get a different version of that ship that's better. We can try. We'll have a look, see if we get any decent missions. Enter the home. There we go. The fact this character can't, obviously, um, buy things is always a bit of an interesting one. It's the same ship. 
Okay, I'm not ready for this. Let's do... Let's do this. Let's do this hijack mission. See if I can gain something here. I'm gonna go fully gung-ho as well, if I can, in this mission. See what happens. This is a pretty decent ship. Yeah, so if I sh shot these, for example, everything would blow up. It's quite cool. Um, give me a key. Bosh. Give me a key. Oh, wait, I don't have the other one. Get the other one out. Key. Bosh. Nice. They're, they've got the glitch teleport, so they're teleporting towards me, and I'm just using that to take them out quickly. Oh, shit. Yeah, there's a body, I know. Bit of a nightmare. Gotta neutralize all the enemies, slowly. Are we done yet? No, I got all these people in the starting area to take care of. Oh, shit, no. That's a... Crash beam that, please. Yeah. Crash beam that. No, that. Not the bloody... Okay, fine. I can take this room on. Go. Oh, God, I can't. Throw the hammer! Okay, I threw a hammer. This is less good. Dodge the bullet. Oh, we did it. Thank God. Where's my hammer? Give me my hammer. Hammer. Good. Put the hammer back on. Left click. It's it's a true chaos game, this, for sure. But I do love it. I can also fast forward, like, hold down F while I play, which is a bit of a nightmare, as you can see here, because I don't even know how to play with F held. Um, but yeah, that could be a fun little thing. Um, I, I, it's, it's a cool little game, Heat Signature. Worth checking out. A bit indie, but a hell of a lot of fun to play. Um, a long-range swapper. You know what? I'll take that. That's worth it. Hold on. That's not what I got in the crate. What did I get in the crate? A rechargeable long-range key cloner. Okay. I'm not gonna say no to that. That sounds pretty useful. Let's speed this up. Head in. And let me see if I've got a mission now I like. I've got to try and liberate. I've got to try. I've got to try and do my personal mission before I end this video. That's what my plan is. Let's do it. I can do this. I believe. Ow. I bounced off. Yeah, they've got multiple ways into the ship. There's a different ship, which is good. A lot of guards here. Less good. Let's get a key clone from you. Straight up. Now, was this dock... Yeah, this dock was a level 1 key. That's good. No other docks on the ship. But this might be easier for me to go past. Yeah. I got a whole way I can go here, which is fine. This leads me to an area where I need a key. There's a key there that's level 3. Hmm. Let's use the swapper here. So I got behind this locked door. Let me key clone the level 3 key, which opens all level 2 doors. Where am I going on the ship? Down there. Okay. Let me turn this off so it's not on. Go through this door. Okay. What have I got now? Bunch of acid traps. Bunch of key cloners. Not much I can do really here. Let's turn this off. What's north? North is bad. South is pretty bad too. Oh my god, I'm full on stealth in this mission. That's the driver. I'm not going past you. Fuck. Oh no, don't come this way. Don't come this way. Good. Long range key cloner? Grab that. Boom. Got level 4 key. We're close. The person I need to capture is in that room. Oh crap. Okay, I know what I need to do. Acid trap. Here. Good. Uh, and then... Nope. Uh, no, 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 no. Crash beam. Okay. Quickly! Hit him! I got him! I got him! 
A self-charging long-range sidewinder is amazing, and also another acid trap. Let's take my acid trap back, pick up this self-charging large... Basically, this is what a uh, self-charging does. Self-charging means it charges on the go. Sidewinder, wherever your line of sight is, you teleport. See? It's quite cool. Great, I've shot us out the uh, airlock because it's the easiest way to escape. Get the target first. Okay, I got him. I brought them to justice. <laughs> what a win. And we land at home. A beautiful place. A rock. And let's pop them in a blender. The personal mission is complete. I got an achievement for that called Blacklisted, which I presume is to complete your personal mission without buying anything. We brought in the Glitcher officer who murdered your kid. Vela Belitzer delivered to medical. When you retire, you can pass on one of your items for a future character to find. And I got a new liberation done. So we'll liberate another place. Let's go liberate extreme range key cloners, because why not? Pop. There we go. The hub gets renamed to Pitry Hub 12 in honor of Iniko Pitry. We now have audacious missions. Missions are the kind that everyone assumes can't be done. They need specialized equipment, meticulous planning, and the capacity to come up with a different meticulous plan when your meticulous plan goes catastrophically wrong. They pay very well. Every time we unlock one of these, we get another unlock. There are 15 unlocks waiting. They're all different types of sort of mission. I'm going to retire you, Petri. You are amazing. Retire. I want it to be your concussion hammer, please. Or it could be your sidewinder. The sidewinder's pretty cool. Go on. There we go. And Nico Petri's sidewinder. Confirmed. And now we get to play as new people. How cool. How cool is that? So, there's quite a lot here. There's December, who has Misty Sing's Concussion Hammer, a long-range visitor, and an acid trap. Pretty nice. They need to rescue their kid. There's this person with a quick fire gun and a long-range sidewinder. This person with a long blade and an acid trap. They are rich, so they start with an embarrassingly large amount of money. They're a supplier, so they get even more ammo and more armor-piercing ammo. They're ex-sovereign as well, so they have long blade recovery time is halved, and short blade dash range is double. They're all about stabbing people. They also have minus 16% glory. And this person is a technophobe. They don't know how to recharge or self-charge gadgets. Yeah, we're not going to play them. There's also the daily tri trip person, which has a bunch of stuff. I'm going to play as this rich person because I'm quite interested in them. Plus, they have the money to get the information immediately on their personal mission. So we'll do their personal mission. I have a score to settle with Cetera Fluka. Can you help? Probably. Send me the details. I'll put some feelers out. Done. It's 200. All right. Thanks. We come back and we pay for it. Here you go. We found the ship they're going to be transported on and someone in place to dispatch at my signal. I'll send the details to the job board. Got it. We come with an acid trap and a long blade. I can also shop things now, you'll see. This is the shops. There's lots of things I could get a new pod if mine blows up. Or if I lose it. Which it can do. Uh, I can buy guns, crash traps, everything I was able to buy. This is how you buy it. I have quite a lot of money, I believe, on this character. 75, so actually... Uh, what do I want? A rechargeable crash beam's probably good. We'll get one of them. And we'll get a mystery crate. I got a concussion hammer for non-lethal. Okay. Let's go to the job listing. And bring in the glitcher officer who murdered your mum. Everyone here has got armor. Let's not do that. Let's not at all. Let's do an audacious mission here for a ridiculously large amount of money against some people. And just see what we can do. Last mission. Fully in. Very hard. New pod. Pirate pod. Ex-Sovereign. Looks very cool. Let's steal what we can. What am I stealing? 
The Stagiture Mark III. Oh, I'm actually stealing something from this ship. Okay. There we go. You see at the back here, this is all the thrusters, which is interesting. A lot of people here. A lot of stuff going on. Crash beam's probably what I'm going to roll with. Stab. 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 I I'm murdering everybody. Oh, fuck. That's a mech. Stab. Defenders arriving. There are special types of enemies that arrive. It's a whole new thing they added to the game, I think, in an update in the past. Which is really worthwhile, because it makes the game a lot harder. There's a jammer arriving. Jammers stop electronics working in a certain area. Hmm. Uh, cash beam. That person's shield. Ah! Ah! I was halfway through lunging at them, I got shot with a shotgun. Now, I have been shot with an actual shotgun. Which means I am now passing out. So if I am incredibly inept at picking myself up in my ship, this is what happens. Oh no, I can't get it! Oh no, oh no, oh no! I'm dead. Every time you do get yourself, like, saved, that shortens. Only if you're bleeding out in space. And that's basically the entire game. Randomized loadouts, randomized ships, randomized loot, and eventually you either become a god or die trying. And it is a absolutely brilliant, chaotic, roguelike game. Totally worth checking out if you haven't, and this is my sort of first sort of video. Now this is either going to be in a play series or Stamp It, I haven't decided. Um, Stamp It's sort of my one-off series as well, where I review games. Um, so you know what, fuck it. I'm going to do this as a Stamp It video, because... I, I changed my mind at the end, I know. This is just sort of a thing I do. Um, I was going to do plays, but I think actually I'm going to do Stamp It because I've already got the logos out. Um, Stamp It, basically, I'm very binary with how I like games. I either like it or I don't. And as you can quite see by how much I've played this game, I fucking love it. So I've stamped it, approved. Thank you very much for watching. Much love from me. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.